All right, three, two, one, let's go. It's Philip the Blue here, <clears throat> my other alias. If you know who I am, I played earlier uh, Boots in the Ground Technical Difficulties, and I'm on the collapse. However, I think I'm gonna do the whole thing over again just to do it over again. Um, less talking, more action. Quick, witty, wannabe puns, I guess. I don't know. Just basically do better than I did earlier. Um, less. All right, let's do with Ruby this time, because I did a different character. So, as per normal, wow, she jumps pretty high. As per normal, the graphics look awesome. I have that aesthetic that you're actually like in the freaking show. Yes, I do watch the show. Someone did question me asking earlier, do you watch the show or this is just a cool game you saw? And yes, I watch the show. So as per usual, the controls right there. You know, you got your heavy attack, normal attack, jump, um, guard break. But that's only offered when a character or an enemy is doing that. <laughs> all right, let's go. Wow, look at all these prim. Let's get them. Oh, forgot about that. Yeah, you break things and you get uh, XP. Kind of like uh, For Honor, when you break the breakable thingamajiggies. Ah, come on. It's not like the show. Whoa. Didn't know that can do that. Oh, okay. That's cool. Still learning this. That's awesome. All right. Dude, that is so freaking awesome. Tiny behind it. All of, his, all of his buddies get killed. Go team Ruby! Nice work, students. As you know, we've been having some trouble with the security network in this area. We need boots on the ground to investigate. That means you, team. Onward! I could get up. Nope, can't. Alright, what does her ultimate do? Normally, it... huh? We'll find out when we go against enemies. Finders keepers. Got myself a relic. It's interesting. The other characters I played so far, they normally don't stay up that long. Ruby can. I wonder if there's like a stat line. Yeah, very, you can say light armored, I guess. But she, you know, does a lot of damage, I guess. I don't know. Okay, that's also crowd control type of deal. Okay. I can see how come she's really overpowered. And I missed. I didn't see him. Alright, alright. Out. Oh, big guy.
He went inside the wall, really? Come on. Again, he's inside the wall. Come on. Boom. All right. She's really OP, not gonna lie. You can hit people up on top still. Interesting. Gun's pretty OP. The, uh, another thing too I like so far is that um, every time you get into a battle scene, the music changes. Yes, the Emerald Forest is filled with the ruins of ancient kingdoms. Keep an eye out for artifacts. Dr. Ublik is always looking to expand Beacon's collection. I'm going to stop talking every time uh, Donald <laughs> dialogue or monologue comes up. Hey, souvenir! Yeah, I like how the music changes, though, as if I mentioned it before. Like, if you're just, you know, kind of somewhat exploring, it's more open-world finesse type of deal. But when you're in combat, it changes to that fast-paced, uh, you know, basically, uh, Ruby combat music if you guys do watch the show. And I do recommend you watch the show. I mean, maybe the first season's a little... Uh, not gonna lie. <laughs> Excitedly Beowulf. Can I shoot him from up here? Yes, I can. Because it's a sniper rifle. <laughs> Alright, let's not be too cheap. Let's go get him. But yeah, the show at, at first uh, can be a little cringy. A lot of puns here and there, but it's not like it's... It, it, has, its, it has its purpose. It has its reasons. Get them a little bit closer. There you go. Ow, 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 ow. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, come on. I jumped out of the way. Dang it. Alright, Ruby's dead. That's not good. But yeah, like I mentioned before, though. Um, at first, the show is going to be a tad bit cringy. Not going to lie. Um, just a tad. There's a lot of puns and things. But uh, you'll, you'll grow to it. You know, the character is pretty de decent character development. Pretty decent uh, character development for, uh, for a show, especially nowadays. You know, where they don't, where a lot of shows you watch nowadays, they, they hardly don't really care about character development. You know, at least, at least for the more, um, uh, you can say the quote unquote American type. You know, cartoons, cartoons kind of, uh, cartoons and animation, they kind of lost their, uh, their, their finesse, you know, their, their, their touch, you know, over time. I don't, I don't know what happened, you know. Me growing up, I used to watch a lot of Samurai Jack. You know, the, the closest... I mean, the closest thing I got, which they, I unfortunately they discontinued it, was uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars. Now, that had a lot of character development, even between the, the, the clone troopers, which those guys, they, they pretty much did make the story. I mean, it is a war that, you know, primarily revolved around them but you know even in the movies like they didn't really care about them you know but th they were you know they were the soldiers on the ground though you know it, it, it they went into detail about you know what what they had to experience and you know how the how basically how the public views them and as well you know yes they're soldiers yes they're they're serving the republic but i mean they view them more as uh, military hardware You know, they, they viewed it more as military hardware rather than actual living, you know, thinking beings, which is kind of sad. But, you know, as I mentioned before, that that's just good writing. You know, you actually cared about the characters. You know, it's the same thing for Ruby. You know, a lot of the things that happened in the show, like at first it's all hunky-dory, hunky-dory. But, you know, as you progress on, like, things actually happen. You know, it's not a lot of filter, per se. You know, and that's a lot of things, too, that a lot of uh, shows nowadays, they kind of fail at it. You know, a lot of shows, they, they tend to have a lot of filter. You know, a real good example, like One Piece or Naruto. 
You know, a lot of people grew up watching that. I personally grew up with it as well, you know, going in, uh, in, uh, what's it called? In elementary school, but... control center for this region is inside that cave. Go have a look, and maybe we can discover what the problem is. You know, it's, it's, it's just something that I... As you grow older, you know, you kind of take it more, you know... It's more considering of the writers and people of the shows when they actually... When they actually care about their fans, you know, and I know Rooster Team does a pretty good job, at least for now. You know, they've always done a little bit of a good job, you know, when connecting to their fans and all that, whether it be from Red vs. Blue, which I know most of you might be more familiar with rather than Ruby. I mean, I was I was a lot more, um, you know, familiar with uh, Red vs. Blue for a while until my friends got me into Ruby, you know, my senior year of high school, which, again, I only watched, like, a couple episodes, but again... You know, it was during my graduation time, so I really didn't have much time to be doing things except, you know, focusing on school and all that. So now I got into college and I watched, I, I actually binge watched it. For a foreign object, I feel like I've seen that symbol before. Never mind. Defend the control center while I undo the damage. Make sure your weapons are loaded and your mustache wax is stoned. This could get hairy. <laughs> Ow. So yeah, like I, like I was mentioning it before, you know, I I binge watched it because at the time I was oh my gosh, I don't know which season it was. I, I I know season one was completely done. It was on Crunchyroll too. I watched it on Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll, sorry, and um, I, I watched all. I think it was I think I was on the third season because right now they're on. I believe they're on volume four, I'm going on volume five. And the next volume's coming out in November, so... Uh, Miss... Miss Rars asks, is this the beginning of the game? And, um, I actually been playing for the past 10 minutes, but this is the first mission. This is the first mission. So yes, it's the first mission. This is kind of towards the end. You just gotta con defend the control point right here. Control center, sorry. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned before, you know, I, I binge-watched it. You know, I... I, <laughs> I got so, uh... So, you would say, in, in depth in the story where I just wanted to finish it. You know, and, and that's the thing that, you know... And that's the thing that I think a lot of, uh... Writers... Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ooh, come on. Jump, 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 jump. But yeah, as I was mentioning, though, um, I think that's something a lot of writers should strive through, you know, someone to actually uh, be so... <laughs> I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna die. I got hope. I got hope. But um, yeah, you know, it's, it was the same thing that happened in Attack on Titan. When I watched Attack on Titan originally, you know, I, I had to watch the entire, you know, the entire season, half season at least, in order to be, you know, put it down because... It kept ending at a cliffhanger. Every episode ended at a cliffhanger. So again, just to remind a uh, person asked me a question, Miss Rawls. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. If, is this the beginning of the game? It is the first uh, mission. However, I've been playing for the past like ten minutes or so. So, of course, it's the first mission. First missions tend to be for most video games tend to be quick, at least for most time. I, I don't. Not every single game is. You know, the same, but... Just trying to do some combos. But yeah, like I was mentioning before, you know, Attack on Titan, I didn't... I didn't, Halfway you know... Point, team. You know, I didn't put it down until the damn mid-season finale. You know, because it was every single episode was a damn cliffhanger. You know, and that's... I don't know if it's a bad thing, I don't know if it's a good thing, but for me at least, you know, that show was that good, I just couldn't put it down. It was the same thing with Ruby. I mean, you know, the animations, it's pretty decent, you know, in the beginning, and and it's a hell of a lot better, you know, once you get to the most recent season, you know, they actually take their time and all that. Not to say that they did it before, but you, you can see the work that was put in. Ouch, I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna die. You know, the soundtrack's there, the voice acting's there, you know, they don't, they didn't really disappoint at all. That's why I'm kind of upset that I never, uh, 
I didn't I didn't I didn't get into it earlier on. Oh I got my ultimate ready. Got him. Where's the last guy? Here you are. He's not really fighting back. Ah, oh, really? Okay, you're getting blown up. Bye, buddy. But yeah, I mean, like I said before, you know, the soundtrack's there, voice acting's there, animation's there. I, I recommend that you guys do watch the show. You know, and if, um, I mean, I'll probably give uh, a set warning or so maybe in the next episode that I'll make. Because I'm going to probably probably finish this mission along with another mission. I um, should probably back off. Didn't even see my health there. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the first mission. Not gonna hope, I'm not going to do spoiler alerts. At least for this one, but the next mission, I'll 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 talk about the show a little bit in depth. All right, there's the last guy. AI is pretty decent in this game. They all attack you at the same time. You know, it's a bit more challenging. You know, most games nowadays, you know, like Destiny or something, the AI just kind of stops. As much as I love that game, you know, the AI just stops at some invisible wall. Yet. Get the Grim, they'll keep chasing you no matter how far you go, at least from my experience so far. Alright, there we go. Hold on just a little longer. We're almost finished. Of course it's Grim. But yeah. You know, I like I said before, I'll, I won't get into the show that much right now. You know, I kind of just want to play the game a bit. But so far, like I mentioned before, you know that I know this game for some people bad reviews. Not not necessarily horrible or bad, but they were they weren't very happy. You know, they 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 were they were they wanted more, you can say. Which I mean, so I've been playing this game for I mean I know I'm level one right here, but I have been playing. I played it as a uh, as uh, John and Pura earlier, you know, I've been, I played for uh, for a couple missions, two, mi three missions. There you go, three missions so far, and it's it hasn't disappointed me yet. Yeah, one thing I do not, I get kind of a little upset on. There's no actual pause menu. You know, you you pause it, but the enemies are still attacking you and all that. So that's that's one thing I want to say. Is ah, it's not good, not good, not good, not good. And see, when you're really low on health, they all go after you. I know, I know, I know. So far, Ruby's pretty good. I like her range, at least. She can hit people from a good range. You know, for, for John, you gotta get really close. But, I mean, the dude has only a... You know, the dude only has a damn sword and shield. So, I don't really blame him. And for Pyrrha... Oh, look, I'm parrying that. I mean, oh, whoa. And at least for Pyrrha too, I mean, she has her rifle, but, you know, she's, at, you know, for her at least too, she's more of a, she's more of a, you know, getting your face type of deal, at least in the show. You know, so I'm, I'm assuming they try to translate that as much as possible in the game. Got you, buddy. Bravo, team, bravo. The security network in this region is ship shaped once again. I'll get some of our staff to see if they can find anything about that mysterious symbol. Excellent work. All right, that's first mission. Died once because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, this has been Phil with the Blue. Um, mission two coming up.